Alright guys, what's going on? So, the beginning of this video is kind of hard to watch. Uh, I was at the Terra Speed Metal event. Uh, it was a super awesome event. Massive thank you to Terra for putting on a really rad event. Uh, there was drifting, off-road racing, a badass car show, vendors, food, all sorts of cool stuff. And we actually got to race our own vehicles, which is even more cool. But along with all the fun, there were a couple bad things that happened. Probably the main one for me, being an F100 guy, was watching Kyle Kraft's F100 get wrecked, uh, which was super hard to watch because that is literally the nicest super cab on the face of the earth, period. Um, BJ Baldwin was driving it. His son and I believe one other person was in the truck. Um, they were doing runs all day on the skid pad with drift cars but pretty much anyone could hop in and run. So a couple pre-runners went. I think BJ took Loki out and he was shredding that truck and that truck has a ton of power. And then he hopped in Kyle's truck, took that truck out, did a couple donuts here and there. I believe he did two runs. I didn't see the first if he did but from what I saw on Instagram I think there was two. But I did see the second run which he did end up rolling the truck which I'll show you guys now. Again super super unfortunate turn of events but the good thing is everyone's okay. That's really what matters. These trucks can always be rebuilt. They can be repainted. They can be fixed. But at the end of the day if someone gets hurt you know that's the last thing you want in an event like this where everyone's just trying to have a good time so mistakes do happen no one's perfect i do want to show you guys these clips and keep an open mind on what happens if you're driving a truck like this you got to know how to handle it on top of that it was a hot day it was like in the 80s it's black top you got 40 inch bfu tires that truck has been detuned since it was first built so it doesn't necessarily fry the tires like it used to so i think that's something that also needs to be taken into consideration but nevertheless everyone's okay trucks can be fixed but being in the f100 community i just wanted to show you guys the footage that i got because i did film it uh, but yeah i'll just let you guys see it for yourself
good. Pretty good too. Yeah, you can see that guy's big boy bent. So I think what happened is he came around it and the weight of the truck blew the sidewall of the tire out and then it just folded. So at that point you really can't do much. But damn, that still sucks. You're gonna push the door, the fender into the door. Yeah, now we're in the ER. No, what were you checking saying? Checking me out for some concussions. What were you saying? It, you're BJ Baldwin. You just flipped on a pee, bro. <laughs> Not in Ball Hall. Not in St. Felipe. Not at the Min. On pee, bro. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Damn right. Damn right. Oh my gosh. So I don't have very much time on that thing. I drove it up the street about a year ago. It's awesome. Uh, but since then, some changes were made. There's 
KR3 sticky qualifying tires on there. Um, the converter was changed, which limits the, uh, the power that the thing puts out. Um, and the gearing was changed. So it's not as snappy, doesn't make nearly as much power as I remember. Uh, not excuses, ultimately it's 100% my fault. I should have been able to detect that. But uh, it's camouflage. When I drove that thing last, it would light the tires up. And when I asked it to light the tires up today, it didn't. Just bogged down, hooked, flipped and rolled over. My fault, I accept 100% responsibility. The truck has a big block that's similar to the race motor in my truck, but it's detuned. It doesn't have as much compression. Last time I drove that thing, it would light the tires up all the way down this parking lot. And it didn't do that today. And that's what I would have needed it to do to successfully do 180 like that. I need to light the tires up and spin them. That way it doesn't hook and roll. So converter change, gear change, uh, sticky tires. But ultimately, like I said, it's my responsibility. I should have been able to see that stuff. And I failed. Fun fact, I saw all the posts, all the comments. And there's probably 3,000 people in their mouth. Maybe 15 people asked if we were all right. My son's in the emergency room right now with a concussion. So thank you for those of you that reached out. He's probably going to be fine. He's dizzy. He's nauseous. Um, so we're getting him checked out. He's uh, waiting on an MRI right now at the emergency room. So trucks can be fixed and I'm going to fix that truck immediately with some help some very good fabricators friends of mine but, uh, right now I just want to get him fixed up so uh, see what happens and the people in your life lead them all to victory All right, guys, well, there you have it. I want to give a massive thank you to the guys at AGM for supplying me with their angle. Uh, it's nice to be able to see two different sides of the same incident so you can kind of see what happens a little bit better. Um, also, I want to go forward saying there should be no reason that anyone is saying negative things about BJ. He's an amazing driver. He knows what he's doing. It's been 20 years to the day, as he was saying on a story, since he rolled the truck. So there's no reason to go out and say that he doesn't know what he's doing. He does. Um, I do wish the best for him. I do wish the best for his son. I do wish the best for Kyle. And I know the truck will come back better than ever. You can go ahead and follow Kyle. I'm sure he'll post updates about it as it goes along. Long. Same with BJ, so I'll put their tags up. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys did go on and enjoy this video. I'm just kind of a news person at this point, showing you guys what I saw. So that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video where we get back on my F100 and get that thing back on the road. So hopefully we can use some brown. <laughs> I'll see you guys.